super excited to have you. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I wanted to do this tutorial on a quad right here. It's called, it's the name of the video. It is called Copper Chic and it is one of the Maybelline quads. This is a new quad, so it says on the pack. It is these colors right here. I absolutely am in love. I literally just got this and I think it is such a wonderful, versatile palette. Um, I literally only used two colors in this palette to create this look today. I will be doing another one with this exact same quad and then I will be doing a different tutorial with a it's a limited edition quad so that one will probably be up next and then I will get to going on this one. I also use the Maybelline color tattoo in bold gold. It's just a really nice color tattoo as you can see it just completes this look so much. It's a wonderful base. I really love these color tattoos as bases because they don't crease, they don't smudge, they don't move around. They really stay put to what the test. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I did do a nude lip for all of my nude lip girls out there. I know that bold lips aren't for everyone. Um, the foundation I'm wearing is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and the reason I chose the Lumi foundation is because it gives a nice luminous glow to the skin. As you can see, the light just reflects off of my skin so beautifully. It looks like I had a little bit of a sweat or a glow or something. Not like a bad sweat, like I've been working out at the gym all day. A really good sweat, like healthy skin. So I really am enjoying that foundation because it gives such a healthy look to your skin. Um, so you might be seeing it in a few more tutorials, but this is just the eyes, cheeks, and lips. And yes, I'm missing a nail, please excuse it. My foundation and my eyebrow team will be linked below. So if you want to see how I got this look and what is on my lips, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to take the color tattoo in bold gold and it looks like this. Um, yes, I'm missing a nail. Sorry about it. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to take this in bold gold. It's just a color tattoo, pretty much the same thing as a paint pot. And I'm going to, with my finger, which I'm kind of glad I'm missing a nail because it's so much easier to apply. God, I cannot talk. Apply product. So I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid, in the inner corner, and up into the crease. So you want it to cover a good portion of the lower half of your eye. Literally just like that. I'm only going to use two colors out of this NYX Golden Horizons palette right here. I think it's that yeah, Golden Horizon. Um, I'm just going to take this color right here. It's like a mustardy color. I don't know. It's good for my crease. So I'm just going to take that and put that right in the crease with this big fluffy brush. And you want to take a color that isn't too dark. You want it to be just kind of a nice, a little bit, made like a bronze color. Any color that you would bronze. You can even use your bronzer if you want to. Any color that you would use to bronze. This color into the white and go from the inner corner outwards. That's just going to help you get a more blended look. So then I'm going to go into this palette which is called Copper Chic, which is the name of the tutorial. And I'm going to take this color right here. And I'm going to take that on this, just this little brush. It's a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pick up some of that pigment shadow onto my brush. And I'm going to press this onto the lid. And I'm not taking it up any further than the crease area. So I'm going to press it from inner corner to outer corner. Not rubbing because then you'll get a fallout. Just pressing that right into the... You're going to get a fallout anyway. Clean MAC 224. You're just going to start blending that up and into the crease area. You just want it to naturally blend. 
and doing windshield wiper motions back and forth you're going to start to see that blend upward like so. I'm going to take a little bit of that color on my 224 and I'm just going to work this into the crease. I'm pressing it on the outer corner and then I'm just blending windshield wiper motions in and out, back and forth, like so. You don't have to be neat with this. It's going to end up blending itself. As you can see the gradients, it's going to go from copper and then the bronze brown color we put in and then it's just going to blend itself out. It's almost an effortless look and it looks so good on everyone, any skin tone. It's really going to make the blue eyes pop. So just blending that all out. Don't get frustrated if you don't see exactly the results that you want um, right away. Sometimes it takes a little more blending and remember you just want to pick up a little bit of product and then work with it and then pick up a little bit more and work with it. And if I'm not seeing the results that I want right away, I will kind of go back and forth in windshield wiper motions like this. And then I'll just, when I know that I don't really have any more product on the brush, I will blend that up in circular motions up towards the brow bone like this. That creates the gradient effect that we are going for. So windshield wiper motions back and forth and then buff it out. And then you want to focus this mainly on the outer corner and then circular motions like so. I'm just going to pick up a little more of that copper color back on the brush and I'm just going to refresh the lid area and since it's all blended together you won't really have to re-blend it because it's going to do that itself. Now on the 224 I'm just going to pick up a little bit of um, that matte white color and then I'm just going to highlight the brow bone really really lightly just kind of dusting that color on and then I'm going to kind of bring it downward and it's just going to blend what you've already done even more. So I know that that's down there and it looks really bad. So this is what you should be left with. I'm just going to add some concealer to my under eye areas. A little bit on my chin, some on my forehead, down my nose, my cupid's butt. This brush right here, this one's by RC Cosmetics, and I'm just going to blend that out. You don't want a really intense contour and highlight for this look. You just want it to be a glow, bronzy look from within. For my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to take the white-ish color right here in the palette corner and I'm just going to pat that on and highlight the inner corner. Now I didn't do anything too dramatic with my liner, I just kept it really simple, just a line and that's because when you put on your Lashes, it's just going to intensify the lashes a lot more than if you were to have a big liner. Take this pencil brush and I'm just going to start from the outer corner and work it in. And you want to make sure your, la your lower lash line connects to your upper lash line. So once you have your lashes, I always say that weird on camera, lashes, like I'm from Jersey or something. I do have a shirt on by the way, and it's blue so it's going to complement the eyes really nicely. So I'm just going to take some of my bronzer, I'm just going to bronze up my skin a little bit. Now we're not going into like complete depth of contouring, 
we're just bronzing up our skin a little bit just to kind of give you the sun-kissed glow if you will I'm gonna go with Luminoso by Milani and the reason I picked this blush is because it's gonna complement your eyes really really nicely and you don't want so much going on on your cheeks if you're going to have a if you're going to have a noticeable lip you want to have a not so noticeable cheek and vice versa for my highlighter I'm using um the shimmer strips by physicians formula in Vegas strip and this is going to give you a little bit more luminosity to the skin it's a butter gloss in cotton candy which is a really pretty pink color the polished petal by the Maybelline color elixir it's gonna give you this nice pink lip um, just because you have so much going on and all over the face not too much but you get the point so this is with a nice nudie pink lip bright lip. So I'm going to take this Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Cherished Devotion and lay that as the base. And then I'm going to take the color Flourish Fusion by the Color Elixirs. Again, these are great for a pop of color on the lips. to show you both ways just because in spring you don't just do nudes and you don't just do brights you do both and I think this is a very spring look I mean you have the bronze gold eyes you have the bright pink lip you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was just really really simple almost too simple I hope you enjoyed the lip choices that I threw in there for you another good one would be this elixir right here breaking apricot I think that's what it's called um, because the little thing it these are hard to read so I hope that's what it's called but this would be another really good choice for the lip color so like I said I will be doing another tutorial with the Copper Chic palette from Maybelline and I also have a limited edition little quad that I got I think it's called it's called romance it's called romance something I can't really remember but I will be doing a tutorial with that as well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you found it helpful for the springtime it is coming upon us so so quickly and I have so many different tutorials um, planned for you guys it's gonna look great on every skin tone and skin type but it's really gonna make those blue eyes just stand out especially in pictures and stuff like that so you want to dress accordingly to what you have on your eyes and you don't want to match it so I'm wearing neutrals on my eyes you don't want to wear neutrals or pinks on your skin you want to wear a color that complements well so I chose a blue it has a variations of blue in it your accessories can make the make or break your makeup look as well so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I will be back this week with so many tutorials I have so many planned I just really want to get the spring ones up and going so I hope you guys have a wonderful day please like this video if you liked it all my social media is always down below if you want to see what I'm doing excuse this zit it's like a freaking monster and please hit that little red subscribe button it would mean so much to me more than you ever know so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm.